This week's topic is something really difficult to give good advice on. Maybe even contentious in some ways. Safely landing big sharks of rocks can be extremely tricky. With this, experience plays a big, big role. Probably the most valuable advice I can give to start off with is to find a beach closest to where you are, to safely fight the fish towards the beach, and then safely land it on the beach. There is just no better options. If you do not have those options, landing a big shark on the rock becomes possible when you've got experience with you. Having said that, a lot of you might know Andrew from Mazeppa Bay. Now this becomes rather difficult in the trans sky, especially when the rocks are very tricky to land big sharks. Now someone like Andrew is a great asset. And if you're in the area of the whole of trans sky, give him a call and take him with on your trip. Okay, now let's have a look on how to land big sharks on the rocks. When you're on the rocks, make sure you understand the rocks properly. The safest yet deepest gullies you could possibly bring a shark in without damaging it. Normally behind some bigger boulders that breaks the waves and only allows the swell to come in would be an ideal spot. Having enough water for the fish to stay wet and not get too damaged against the rocks. Also your safety is a priority. That's why I reiterate on experience. Having someone like Andrew or other experienced gillies or anglers with you is definitely a benefit. Fight the fish into the gully where there's enough water until it's safely reachable that you can grab the caudal notch or the tail to drag it into a safe spot. Quickly unhook, measure, take the photo and push it out the same gully waiting for water as you would do on the beach. When you move these big sharks and you use the right gullies it becomes a bit easier but you still use the water. The same principle applies. Wait for the water before you move them over the rocks. Now guys this comes with time and the spots, getting to know the spots. Best is to take some experienced anglers that's fish those particular spots with you the first time. That way you get to learn the spot a lot quicker with the safest possible landing areas. Now guys, every year there's a couple of anglers that land in the water. Some of these end up in very tragic stories. So safety is very, very important, especially on pieces of coastline like the Transcar. In the past we used to put a life jacket tied to a long rope to the people fetching the sharks. This way should they land in the water there is a bit of a safety net. Someone obviously holding the rope in the back. Now as we always say guys considerations everything. Consider the fish, the safety of the fish, the potential damage to the fish and very importantly your safety in landing bigger sharks of rocks. Now as I said this is a very difficult topic. And I really hope that there were some pointers to help you in the future.